Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So you may be looking at this device here and you're asking yourself, what is this gadget? So this is uh, my DIY um, visual load tester. So, and this is something I put together to be able to help me test my, uh, uh, my future YouTube videos, uh, power videos to show the uh, build integrity of my videos. So, and I intend to use it to do some more testing on this power inverter. So one of my subscribers a few weeks ago made me realize that I needed to do some more testing on this power inverter. Plus also the fact that I intend to do uh, future DIY inverter videos. So this video was actually inspired by some of the things I've seen on YouTube lately. So if you go on YouTube and you type in how to build a, a DIY power inverter, so you will see a lot of videos that will pop up. And some, some of these videos or most of these videos are, are, will have, you know, very nicely put together uh, thumbnails and they will claim 4,000 watts, 5,000 watts, uh, 10,000 watts and what have you. So, but then, which is all good. Again, these videos are very well made. They're very entertaining. They're fun to watch. But then where I kind of disagree with is when they get to the, uh, the testing phase of the video where they actually are supposed to do some load testing to uh, kind of show you the build integrity, they will use things like uh, loads like uh, a 5 watt LED bulb, like what I have here, or 20 watt LED bulb to test uh, a design, what they claim, the thumbnail says, uh, 4,000 watts, 3,000 watts. So to me, I think that's a little bit deceptive. So I'm making this video to show you guys what it means to test an actual 1,000 watt load, 2,000 watts load, 3,000 watts and more. So hopefully we'll be able to do some of that using this uh, device here. And this is a very simple device. So um, before we get to the testing, so let's look at the build, how I, what I used and how I was able to put this together. Then we, we gonna be able to do some testing on this. All right, let's get to it. So for the very first test, we are going to use uh, very uh, light LED loads to make sure that each channel is good before we actually put on the heavy loads. So for that, we are going to use this um, 
These are like 9.5 watts LED light bulbs and uh, I believe there are 60 watt halogen bulb replacement or something like that. So, and these are all the bulbs that we're going to use here. So we're going to install all of them to then check each um, load channel to make sure everything is working right. So now what we're going to do is to bring in a channel at a time. Let's start from the right here, as you can see. Amazing. All right, so let's take him out. Awesome. All right, so now let's try a bigger, a heavier load to see what happens. All right, so the final testing will be the actual load testing that I was talking about. The reason why we actually built this box. So to do that, I'm going to be using this, uh, these incandescent uh, bulbs. The reason for that is these actually, they are designed to, pro to produce a lot of heat. Um, and each of these bulbs, this is the big one, will be the 300 watt um, bulb and this is a 200 watt bulb. So what I'm trying to do is to load each channel to, as I was saying earlier, to about uh, 500 watts. So this whole uh, box will be testing about 3000 watts. So, all right, let's get to it. Right, so here we have it. So what we have here is, so the first channel, we have a 200 watts and the 300 watt bulb. So, and that's the same thing I have for the first channel, second channel, fourth channel, and the fifth channel here. So the sixth channel, I decided to, they decided to make it a little bit heavier. So I have two 300 watt bulbs on it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and bring him on and see what it looks like. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So now we start from the right. All right, so this here shows what a 3000 watts give or take should look like. So if you're making a video or building a pro an inverter project and you're saying that, you know, um, you're saying that your power output is about 3000 watts or 4000 watts. So I, I expect to see something like this or else it might look like what you build or what you're showing uh, your audience on YouTube is nothing but a clickbait. All right, so now let's look at it from the side so that we can actually see what's going on, what the digital watt meter is measuring as we are bringing in each load channel. Right, so in this section of the test, so my son here is gonna help me. So we bring in each channel at a time and we look at the uh, power that's going through the channel. All right, safety first. All right, so let's get started. One channel at a time. Turn on, and that's uh, 604 watts. The next one, and that's 1,033 watts. The next one, and what, that's almost 1,400 watts. Next one, 
and that's uh, 1800 watts next one and as you can see here we have almost 2000 watts of load going through this uh, load box all right let's turn them off all right good job all right my friends we have come to the end of this video i hope you had some fun i hope you learned something from this video at the innovation lab we keep all our projects real we do not do uh, clickbait so if you like to see real projects like this make sure to subscribe to our innovation lab uh, share our videos so that other people can also learn uh, from our videos and uh, yeah that's it my friends i will see you guys in the next videos for other projects and not all the other cool stuff that i will intend to do with this gadget here all right my friends thanks again for watching